Okay. So the first thing you notice is we've got a challenge. This is the data that you guys are going to be using for the challenge, not that one. This one right here, okay? So if I look, I've got tons of information on this file, tons and tons of stuff that I'm going to be using. I've got three different tabs. The first thing it asks me to do is it says insert a column between B and C. So I'm going to go in here and I want to insert a column between B and C. How do I insert a column between B and C? Do what? Insert column. Okay, and I want to call this column um, first name, last initials. First name, last initial, okay? Now, remember from yesterday, how do I take the first name here and the last initial here and put them together here? How do I do that? Who remembers from yesterday? Um, you equal sign. Okay. And then you click on uh, A2. Okay. And then you do the and symbol. Yeah. And then you do the like, quotation mark, and then space, and then quotation mark, and then and symbol, and then B2. Awesome. And it automatically just populated my whole thing. Good job. Okay. So when you get, when you get yours, you're going to do that. That's something we've already done. We are rock stars here. Okay, we're going to learn about a multiple if formula. And if you don't remember after I show you, here's a link in your document to this or to this. The first one I'm going to show you is just using a nested if. And what a nested if does is it checks for one condition. And if that's true, it puts it in. If it's false, it checks for another condition. Paul, where's our math supposed to be? Okay, so here I am. I want to find out if they're in blocks A, B, or C, they have the morning block. If they're um, D, E, or F, they're the afternoon block. So really, all I need to do is check for morning block. So I'm going to go in here. I'm going to do an if statement. So I'm going to say equals if, okay? And the first thing I want to check at my logical test is I want to see if, if this cell equals A, right? So I'm going to say if that equals A, okay? If that's true, what am I going to do? What are they going to have? If that's true, it says you're going to put in morning block. Okay, so right now, in my if statement, I'm on the part that if this is true, what am I going to do? If it's true, I'm going to put in morning block, okay? If it's false, now I'm on my false part. If it's false, I need to check to see if it is B, okay? I need to check and see if it's B. So I'm going to put in if. Notice it's going to pop up. Now it's saying, okay, what's your logical test? Oh, I want to check to see if this is now equal to B. Okay, if it is, comma, now I'm on my true part. See, now I'm on my true value. What am I going to do? I'm going to say morning clock. Okay. Then I'm going to do comma. Now I'm on my false. I still need to check for one more value. What other value is it for morning block? C. So I'm going to click back on here again. Is that equal to C? If it is, it's morning block. If it's false, I'm going to just put in afternoon block because they're either morning or they're afternoon. Okay. Now, Here's where it gets a little bit tricky. I have one opening parenthesis. I have two openings parentheses. Whoops, I messed up here. I missed my if here. There we go. I have three parentheses. So I have one, two, three parentheses. So I have to put three at the end. Okay, so if you look at it, this is what it's doing if it's true. If it's false, it's going to check for B. If it's, how am I missing my O in there? If it's, if it's, um, if this is false, it's going to check for C, and then it's going to give me afternoon block. Whoops, let's try it again because I messed up when I was typing. Okay, so here we go. Equals, 
if. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is, is this equal to A? If it is, great, put in morning block. If it's not, I need to check again. So now I'm going to check if. Okay. Come on, pop up. If this is equal to C, and if it is, it's morning block. That should have been B, but we'll just do it opposite here. Okay, if that's not true, I want to check if this equals B, and if that's true, it's morning block. Otherwise, it's afternoon block. I tell you what, I am struggling today. Let's try one more time. No, I, I had the parentheses in there. Um, I had three at the end, which is what I should have had. So here's my first one. If this equals a okay if that's the case if that's true i'm going to type in morning block okay the next thing i'm looking for is it if it's false so if it's false i need to do another if so i'm doing if here it pops up so i'm going to check if this is now equal to b okay and if it is there's my true value. Notice I'm watching these here. It's going to be morning block. Okay. Um, and now I'm on my false. So now I still need to check to see if it's a C. So if this equals C, now I'm on my true. It's going to be morning block. Otherwise, it's going to be afternoon. Whoops, that's probably what I did last time. I forgot to put afternoon inside of quotes. Afternoon block. Okay. One for the first two, three. There we go. Okay. So what you're doing here is, let me go in and show you in formula so you can see a little better. Yeah. They, t they downloaded it from the computer. You can download it. Okay? Okay. So if I look at this, come on, shoot. I'm dragging the wrong one. If I look at this, it's it says to me, first I'm going to check to see is it A. If it's A, then it's a morning block. If that's not true, then I want to check and see if it's a B. If that's not true, then I want to check and see if it's a C. Okay? So you've got your condition. What is it going to be if it's true? If it's false, I do another check. Paul? Paul? Oh, never mind. It wasn't Paul this time. Okay. So that's what we're getting. Now I'm going to show you the or. Okay. Now I'm going to show you the or. So I'm going to put in another column in here. And this is going to be, I'm going to get off my formula. This one's going to be a different way of doing AM or PM using the OR. Okay, so this was my nested if. Okay, this was my nested if. So I check first if it's A. If it is, give a morning block. If it's not, check to see if it's B. If it is, give a morning block. If it's not, check to see if it's C. If it is, give a morning block. Otherwise, just give them afternoon block. So now we're going to do AM or PM using the OR statement. I think the or is a little bit easier because you have less information. So an or means if one of my conditions is true. Okay, so with an or, it's going to look if one of these is con conditions is true. If I use an and, everything needs to be true. But I'm going to use the or. So I'm going to do equals if. Okay, there it is. Then I'm going to do a parenthesis and I'm going to do or. Okay, there's my or. And it says, if I read it, it says, Check whether an argument, whether any of the arguments are true. If it's true, if and one of them are true, it returns a true value. Otherwise, it returns false. Yep, that's what I want to do. So my first logical is, 
is, did I just get rid of my A, B, and C thing? Oh, I hit it. It's right here. I just have to unhide it. Come on. Ah, shoot. All of a sudden I looked, I'm like, that column's gone. My column E is gone. Let's see. Why? I'm still in the formula. Come on. There we go. Unhide. There. I don't know how I hit it, but there it is. Okay, let's try again. Okay, so we're going to do if. You just learned how to hide a column, too. If. Okay. Then I'm going to do my or. Okay. Now, what's the first logical thing I want to find out? What's the first thing I'm checking? What's the first thing I'm checking? Brooklyn, seriously, I'm going to send you out in about two minutes if you can't keep it up. Out. You can go tell somebody why you are unable to keep your mask up. Well, I don't care. Okay, so what's my first logical thing that I'm checking here? What do I want to know? How do I know if they have morning black? What's the first thing I want to check? Dorcas, what's the first thing I want to check here? Okay, how do I know if I put in morning block or afternoon block in there? How do I know that? What about which column? No, no, because we have a, we're doing it a different way. We're we're this one we did our nested if. Now we're using an or instead. So how do I know if Aaron is a morning block? Let's pretend this doesn't exist. How do I know if that's a morning block or an afternoon? What's the criteria that tells me if they're a morning block? Okay, so I'm going to click. What do I need this? What's the first thing I'm looking for? If that's equal to A, okay? Then I'm going to do a comma, and now it says, what's the second thing you want to check? So I check to see if it was equal to A. What's the next thing I want to check to see? If it's equal to B. So I'm going to click here, equals to B. Okay, then it says, what's the third thing you want to check? If it's equal to C. And then I could keep going if I have more things to check, but those are the three, those are the three criteria, are the three logical things I'm checking. So I put a parenthesis at the end. Now that is my if logical test. So now I put a comma, and if any one of those are true, it's good. It's morning black. And if they're false, it's afternoon black. So it's a lot less typing with my or. Because this is right here, this part right here in my or statement, that's what I'm checking in my if logical test. Then this is if it's true, and this is if it's false. So if I click on it, there it is. Okay? Make sense? So you can either do the nested if for yours, or you can do the or. You don't have to do both. I just wanted to show you both. You can either do the nested if or the or. Do you want me to go over the or one more time? Yes or no? No? Okay. So, again, we've done the multiple if. We did it both as a nested, and I did it as an or. Okay, so that's there. Again, if you need help afterwards, click on it. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to format our table in here. So how do I format this as a table? Who remembers? Who remembers how I format this as a table? So where do I get to that? Right now I'm in formulas. Okay, I don't want to insert a table because that would be making a new table. I want to take this and format it like a table. Home. I don't even need to do that. I just need to be somewhere in my cell. And then, yep, and then click on format as a table and then pick one of them. Okay. So now my stuff is all formatted nicely as a table. Okay, I don't have to have the whole thing highlighted. I just need to be inside my table somewhere. Okay? So we know how to do that. We're good at that. That's easy. The next thing is we're going to sort and filter our names first by morning or afternoon block and then by name. So I need to sort by two data areas. So first, I'm anywhere in my table, I'm going to click. I'm going to go over to sort and filter. I'm going to do a custom sort. 
So what's the first criteria that I want to sort by? What did it tell me? I want to sort by Okay, so I'm back here. How do I do that? What am I going to sort by here? What column? AM or PM, okay. And I want to do it in ascending value. Now I want to sort, the next thing I want to sort by is by their name. So how do I do that? Okay. Then what? Okay. Yep, we can do by student. Does it say does it say student first name or does it say does it say um, and then by name? So we could either do student name here, student first name, or we could do first name last initial. Either one. Prefer. What do you prefer? What do you? you want us to do? Whichever one you want. It's really not gonna. The only time it'll change is if um, I don't know that like Andrew K L and R would change. So I just did it by the one that has. Both in there. Oh, so this kid, this has been sitting down there forever, so we're okay. bringing things back. Okay, thanks. Right, thanks. Okay, so we have sorted by our first name, last initial. Okay, and again, it wouldn't make a huge difference until I hit the Andrews with all the last, that's all the Andrews in there with the same last, same first name. Okay, so now. I'm going to copy and paste the morning block students into the appropriate space. Now, notice what it says. What does the note here say? What does it say here? It says copy and paste, and then we'll do it with the afternoon block. But it says you will need to choose paste value options. And here's why. I'm going to go in here. I want to copy these guys right here. So I'm going to start, go all the way down. There's 202, by the way. How long ago is this? I don't know. Okay, so there I have them. I'm going to copy them. And now, whoops, I don't want to do that. I copied both afternoon and morning. I just want afternoon, so let's try again. Okay, here we go. Let's go to afternoon. i got to watch for the letter change. Right there. Okay, so I have them. I'm going to copy them. Then I'm going to go into afternoon, and if I just do paste, watch what happens. Okay, why did that do that? Anybody have any idea why did it paste it and not give me answers? Why didn't it give me the names? Is there nope, it's not that. It's telling me a reference. It doesn't have a clue. Because remember, back here, I put this in as a formula. So when it copies it, it's going to copy the formula. I don't have a column A2 and B2 on here. So when I tried to copy it, it didn't have an A2 or B2. So what I want to do is I want to say paste the values that's in that are in there. So it takes their name instead of the cells. So there it is. Okay? So that's why you have to do paste value. Let's do the same thing for morning. And I'm going to go morning, and I'm going to click here. And again, I'm going to say paste values, okay? So there we have it. Okay, so we've done that. Awesome. Now we're going to go back. We're going to use a VLOOKUP. And in order for our VLOOKUP to work correctly, we need to sort back just by the names in alphabetical order. Remember, we don't want them split out. It doesn't work as well. So I'm going to go back here to my form response, and I'm going to click on my sort data. And I'm just going to remove the AM, PM. So now they're sorted by their first name, last initial. Okay? Questions so far? The next thing it asks me to do is I need to do a V lookup on the morning block and the afternoon block. I'm going to do a V lookup that looks up the formula for which middle school the student's from. Okay, so if I look here, I want to know what middle school is Abigail at. Okay, I want it to populate in here. I don't want to have to write it in. Clara, I would be paying attention to this because you're going to have to do it when you get done. So how do I do a VLOOKUP? 
I want to I want to use a VLOOKUP to tell me what middle school I'm at. How do I do a VLOOKUP? Equals V lookup. Okay, so equals V lookup. Okay, so now what's the first thing it's asking for? My lookup value. What is my lookup value? Nope, that's what I want to put in there. Okay, so where do I find the name? A4. A4, okay. Then it's saying, where do you want, what, what do you want to look at? Where's my table information? Where am I going to find the table information for this? It's in uh, four responses. Okay, and I'm looking for their first name, last initial. So what do I select in here for it? Do I start over here or do I start here? C, why am I going to start in C? Yep, I'm going to start in C because remember my leftmost column in my lookout table is what I'm searching for. If I do this one, it's not going to work because my data is first name, last initial. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to use Roosevelt, but you know what? I might want all this information, so I'm just going to grab it and go all the way across and come down. So how many columns does my table have? Too many. Count. I'll stop here while you count. How many columns do I have? How many columns in my table? Seven. Okay, there you go. Perfect. Okay, so there I have it. That's my data. Okay. So I'm going to go back to my, am I doing afternoon block? I can't remember. Okay, so there's my data. I'm going to put comma. And then what column am I going to use to get their middle school thing from what I, what I sent? Okay, here's my stuff. What column am I going to use? I started here and I'm going across. Which column? Two? Okay. <laughs> column two. Okay. Now what I want to do is I want to make my table absolute. So I'm going to click here and do a dollar sign here and here and here and here. Okay. And then I should be able to drag it down. Okay. There it is. If I want to do it on the morning block, somebody walk me through what I'm going to do on the morning block. Well, tell me how to do it so I know you know how to do it. Phones away, folks. Equals me Okay. Then what? Name, Aaron A. Okay. So I click on it. Then what? Okay. Right now I'm still on lookup value. How do I get? Why do, comma. Comma. Okay. Then what? Go to four responses. Okay. What do I highlight? What do I highlight? All the way across and down, right? It is. Oh, I missed one, but that's okay. I'll just go in and change it. It's going to be easier to change it. Okay, I'm going to make this 202. And then what column? Two. Okay, I'm going to go back and make this absolute after I close it out. There we go. So I'm going to go absolute here. Absolute here. Absolute here and here. Was this from last year? I don't know. Okay, and then I can drag it down. Now, if I want to find out their elective one or elective two, do I have to redo my V lookup or can I drag, can I autofill? Can I autofill over here? Can I take this and autofill it across? I'm going to try. Okay. And it's still saying Anoka Middle School, Roosevelt Middle School. So what my, What should I change it to? I don't remember. Yeah. I think it's um, okay, six, let's try it. Oh, now this is Northdale, so what do I want to change this to? Seven. Seven. Uh-oh, I must have did something wrong. Hmm. 
I might have gone in and accidentally changed their data on that person. Oh, I think I have this. I think I have the range wrong in there when I tried to change it myself. I think it should be C2. Oh, I think this is supposed to be I. I typed in the wrong one. Remember, I said I messed it up. There we go. Okay, there we go. This should be I as well. That's why we're off. There. Well, now I still have the same answer. And I don't think they have the same. So I'm going to try that again. I'm going to try it again. So we'll take it, drag it. Oh, yeah, I didn't get all the columns. That should have been I. So let me go back in here and change this to I. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to change this to column six and this to column seven. There we go. Let's just see if these are the same. No, so that person just had it in twice. Okay. So that's how you're going to do that part. So we've done that. You're going to do a lookup for the elective options, and then you're going to also adjust your column width to make sure everything fits in. So these are all the things that you're going to have to go back in and do. I've walked you through it. You should know how to do it. I've gone through and explained it.